following is an edited version of one of our live streams. You can catch us live Monday through Friday starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over on our live streaming channel. I don't... It's like... It's like either coming out of the vents or it's like some weird Star Wars Santa Christmas magic, but there's freaking snow all over the place. At first it seemed kind of magical and I was like, okay, some magic shit happening in the tower. Now it's a little annoying. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing today? Got a little bit of a holiday vibe going on in the tower. It's that time of year and we made it through one year. We made it through a year, did we not? We did. Today I want to talk about the Empire of the Hand. I want to talk about Thrawn. I want to talk about Legends. And I also want to talk about the Rebel sequel series leaks. Okay, so first thing, I like to see how you guys are feeling and, and if you guys are on the, uh, the same page, if we're all on the same page. So let me ask you, yes or no, do you guys know what the Empire of the Hand was in legends yes or no uh nope 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 no no okay i'll just read right from the wikipedia page and then we'll speculate and uh, i think you'll immediately see where my head is at with this okay so it says here the empire of the hand also referred to as the hand or just m the empire was an autocratic confederation secretly established in the galaxy's unknown regions. The main objective of the hand was to defend the galaxy from various threats within the unknown regions, including extra galactic invaders created by Grand Admiral Thrawn as an expedition to explore, map, and pacify the unknown regions in the name of the Galactic Empire. It was made possible with the support of Emperor Palpatine, who gave resources and manpower to support Thrawn's territories. The thing that's so cool about this is, and again, this will tie into the leaks that we will discuss in a little bit here, but I think one of the, the main things that we've been sort of asking ourselves or wondering as Star Wars fans about is, how is it possible that the events of The Mandalorian, if they're going to go big, how can the events of the Mandalorian not overlap with and therefore need to worry about the events of the sequel trilogy. As I've often said, it kind of feels like they're going to set something up that will have a, a reason that it was so separate from what was going on in, in the known galaxy. And I've always thought that the unknown regions were a terrific way to introduce that element. They've already used the unknown regions as a convenient way to sort of hide nefarious plans, the plans of the emperor, etc., etc. It really does feel like if they're going to have Thrawn and he's going to be significant, if they're going to do that, they almost have to do something weird like the Empire of the Hand. It fits, right? It works. One of the reasons this is really interesting as well is because Thrawn is not a dick face. I touched on this on Monday night on Nerd Theory with uh, Star Wars Theory because most of the Imperials, like if you look at Vader's uh, leadership style, it's like, ah, you know, you better do what I say. Ah, you know, that's Vader. Um, Thrawn's leadership style is much different. <laughs> he's read a few more books. You know, he's got a different strat. So Thrawn... His crew actually really likes him. Like, here's a quote right here from Vantar describing the Empire of the Hand. He says, The Empire that Senior Captain Thrawn is carving into the evil that pervades our world is not the empire you choose to lead. His is an empire of justice and dignity for all beings. His empire is one we gladly serve, one we are willing to to die for. And this brings me to another thought. In Legends, the Imperial Remnant and the Empire of the Hand are not the same thing. Eventually, the Empire of the Hand sort of dissolves, and I think it sort of gets absorbed into the Ascendancy and the uh, the Empire, the Imperial Remnant. But it's initially not. It's different, as, you know, that quote sort of indicates. And it's a coalition. It's like, a co it's like NATO. It's like Thrawn made NATO out in the Unknown Regions. The other thing that I really like about it is the fact that it makes sense with the character that we've had established thus far even the canon version there's so much speculation sort of tied into this line of thinking ladies and gentlemen that like i i gotta tell you it's pretty wild all right now let's spend like 
15, 20 minutes talking about the uh, Rebels sequel series leaks, okay? And then we'll do some Q&A and then we'll get on out of here, okay? So let me ask you this, as I'm getting this set up for you guys, we just explained a little bit about the Empire of the Hand. Many of you guys did not know about the Empire of the Hand, so now I ask you, now that we've talked about it a little bit, would you want to see it? Yes or no? Tell me in the chat. Okay. So, so the leaks that happened last week, apparently some of that information had been out for months. It would hit the Star Wars leak subreddit and then it would get deleted. And so it never got like full on traction. I am pretty damn sure that that subreddit has been invaded by actual Disney employees as evidenced by the fact that they did a lot to try to hide the spoilers for Grogu and that, that reveal. As far as I understand it, this leak happened around the same time as some other really crazy Star Wars leaks that ended up being true. They also all ended up getting deleted. Now, I'm not saying it's true. Again, I just think it's interesting. And when you consider these other things and the fact that these other things have been out there, like Grogu, that shit was on Reddit. And then boom, it's gone. Plot leaks about this, that boom, they're gone. It's deleted. So we can't talk. We can't look at it. Ah, but alas we can this is an article written uh by matt haywood from the star wars time show here is what it says according to the poster who has a source the story of this rebel sequel will be set during the height of the new republic and we will get looks at the new senate as well as the core galaxy post return of the jedi but before the age of resistance films that's the sequel trilogy that's what they call them the first season will mainly set up the journey of ahsoka and sabine who will be prepping for a trip to the unknown regions to look for ezra is some of this sounding familiar to you guys let me know in chat yes or no uh naturally the show will also feature ezra and thrawn who apparently will be quasi allies of sora due to their time together see the unknown regions will generally be the show's main mystery and its barriers so we could get some insight into palp's plan the leaker also mentions that a potential fan favorite character will be a ricotta force sensitive that used to be a tyrant but he'll become ezra's mentor what do you guys even think of that man pretty wild huh josh is definitely pronouncing that wrong and it's hilarious what are you talking about what am i pronouncing wrong I'm not pronouncing anything wrong. The moment I pronounce it wrong, it becomes the right way to pronounce it, and therefore every other way to pronounce it is incorrect. Here's the thing about all that. I was pretty confident that this animated series, the Rebels sequel, the Rebels animated series, the one that is thus described in these ricotta cheese leaks, I was pretty sure that that show was real, dude. However, the conventional wisdom right now from a lot of the people that I talked to is that it's very likely that that show was taken from its production phase, which was going to be for animation and was changed to live action. Are we about to get the empire of the hand, a, a, a ricotta, ricotta that's mentoring Ezra, Ezra and Thrawn have this sort of weird relationship as well, because it all, it's all making sense now. It kind of seems like it might happen. Let's do some Q and a guys. Let's just have fun, man. Mando day, baby. Happy birthday, Josh. Says Whiskey Steve with the $5 super chat. Cheers, man. Hey, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. CGM Show, $5 super chat. Says Josh, you should check out the Marvel 616 documentary on Disney+. Plus. Is an amazing dive into Marvel with a funny, interesting episode on Japanese Spider-Man. Dope, dude. Love Japanese Spider-Man. Uh, Jonah Cavi says, do you think the next episode will be another pit stop for Mando or something uh, totally unexpected since it's shorter. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what my gut tells me. My gut tells me it's Boba. Yeah, I think Boba Fett. Oh, here's what I think. I think Boba Fett tonight, and then I think episodes seven and eight are Thrawn slash Gideon slash maybe Tython, but I also think Tython could be a season three and four thing. Uh, hope you have a great weekend, Josh. Uh, RG2088 says, uh, Jennifer Cook with the $10 holla says, happy birthday, and thank you for creating a great place to hang out in an insane year. Jennifer Cook, thank you. Look, without you, there would be no place. Remember? We had like 20, 50 people first part of the year. Uh, Jennifer, I appreciate you being a part of this year. Bond Jedi Rain hey josh same birthday as me brother happy birthday hey thanks man appreciate the love sorry i almost missed that josh what's your prediction for jedi dan and baby yoda are going to meet up in the abandoned temple it's mace okay yeah no that could work anthony 
That could totally work, Tony. Why is nobody talking about Kanan's son? Dude, I know, Patricia, for sure. Jason Sendula or Sendula. Definitely want to see it. Brobo Fett, I like that, Rick. Happy birthday to you as well. Kathy Kennedy says, happy birthday, Josh, from the president of Lucasfilm. You know, Kathy, thank you so much. You know, I've been getting dinged up a lot in videos <clears throat> for standing up for you in even the most modest, slight, even... Just slight way, you know, Kathy. A lot of people, it's like I say, you know, Kathy's not that bad. Simp! He's a Kathy Kennedy simp. As dot gains. Love your Star Wars takes. Hope you go hard for your B Day weekend. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Holy cow, the Raven Rose says, Happy birthday, the $13 super. Mav says, So chances Anakin is now father of Soko of sister Ezra. Yeah, it's possible, man. And I like where your head's at with that. Steve says, All right, everybody, we're going to call it there. Ladies and gentlemen, holy cow. So generous today. Thank you guys so so much appreciate the love as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video look at all this freaking snow it's crazy you think it's santa chet you think santa is the one that did this he's mad that i haven't emailed him back so he cursed us with crazy amount of christmas cheer